So you know what hurts? Spending a stupid amount of money on a well and then getting your water test back and it has bacteria in it after they just nuked it with chlorine. That hurts. So uh, the well company came again today and shocked it uh, with chlorine, but we're out of water. Um, all of our totes, all out of water. So before they nuked it, I filled up two of them. So I have 500 gallons of water that allegedly has bacteria in it. And I called our uh, water delivery person to say, see if I could get another shipment in. And they're no longer serving our county. And they referred me to another guy who I called them up and they wanted 500 some dollars for the water delivery. And he couldn't be here for another week. Um, so I figured, let's figure this out, right? What can I do for 500 bucks? And the answer is this. I can get some crazy filters. So I picked this up after reading a bunch of different reviews online. Um, our water comes in right here, goes through a two-stage filter. The first is for carbon um, particles and whatnot, and the second is for, uh, I know, manganese or magnesium. I don't know, I probably butchered that, uh, which is in my well water. But more importantly is the bacteria. So I have this UV ultralight. So it comes through here, goes up into the UV, and this is supposed to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria. And from there, it goes into the RV. I just got it working, just finally got it so it's not dripping. You can see all the water. Um, some of the fittings weren't tight. But when the well people were here, they I mentioned um, we were just talking about the test and how it shouldn't have tested positive for bacteria. Um, and apparently they did the sample wrong. They took it from the hose bib versus the testing valve. Um, however, it's still good to know that it tested for bacteria where I am filling up with water. Um, but just another crazy, you know, kick in the chest, so to speak. You know, you spend all this money on a well, um, thought I was done with my totes, and sure enough, not quite yet. Uh, <laughs> so in, the plan is to leave the well chlorinated for another two days, um, and then I'll start to bleed it out. Uh, and then the county's gonna come back and test it. And I guess we'll wait another three weeks until they say it's good. And after that, finally, I'll be able to use my well, assuming it comes back good. But you know, I'm still gonna use this filter. I think it's a good investment and I can put it in the house when I'm done. So now the next test is to taste the water and see how, see how it tastes. Hopefully I don't die. So it looks cloudy, but that's just the bubbles. I guess I'll give it a shot. It's a good health, safe water. Tastes fine. Guess I'll find out in a few days.